Reptiles are some of the most adaptable and diverse groups of animals to ever live on this planet, coming in a vast variety of forms throughout their millions of years of evolution, from the massive, to the tiny, to the bizarre, and to the ferocious. During the Mesozoic over 180 million years ago, the reptiles ruled the world with impunity, pushing the very limits of evolution with the animals of the time, with reptiles occupying various niches across a vast, diverse ecosystem until their reign met its conclusion with a cataclysmic collision with an asteroid, ushering in the age of mammals and ensuring the success of mammalian supremacy. However, the reign of mammals wasn't absolute, with isolated pockets of the world seemingly lost in time. Australia in particular was a truly lost world, in an isolated land where evolution was pushed to its extremes. It gave rise to creatures the likes of which the world hadn't seen since the dinosaurs, a land still ruled by giant reptiles. The largest and most infamous amongst them was a massive monitor lizard whose size and ferocity harkens back to a bygone age, the vicious, the venomous Megalania. Megalania, aka Varanus prisca, was a massive monitor lizard that once roamed Australia during the Pleistocene Epoch, approximately 1.5 million years ago, as to recently as 40,000 years ago. While this creature's tremendous size may fool you, Megalania was by no means a dinosaur. In fact, it wasn't even related. Megalania was in fact a gigantic species of monitor lizard, a group of lizards that even today contain giants like the Komodo dragon the largest lizard alive today, with the largest dragons reaching up to 3 meters or 10 feet, weighing in at 200 pounds. However, Megalania was the largest terrestrial lizard ever discovered, dwarfing its Komodo cousins at lengths of 7 meters or 22 feet, and weighing in at estimates of 600 pounds or 272 kilograms. However, these estimates can vary based on incomplete remains and anatomical comparisons with other monitor lizards in terms of body proportions. In terms of classification, Megalania's closest relatives are a bit shifty. When first discovered, it was thought that it was a relative of the Parenti, the largest lizard living in Australia today. However, in the most recent study, it was actually discovered that Megalania might have actually been closer in relation to Komodo dragons. What's more interesting is that Megalania has now been classified as a sister taxon to the Komodo dragon and other monitor lizards, based on extremely similar anatomical traits, and as a result, renaming it from what was once Megalania prisca, meaning ancient roamer, to Varanus prisca, meaning ancient dragon, a much more fitting name for such a tremendous reptile. That said, Megalania can still be used as a common name. While it does share close anatomical traits with other monitor lizards, Megalania does have various traits that also sets it apart, aside from its massive size of course, such as a more robust humerus and a pronounced crest on the top of its skull. Like the Komodo dragon, Megalania was the apex predator of its environment, ruling over Ice Age Australia with unmatched ferocity, in a land where even today, evolution was taken to its most extravagant extremes. For millions of years, Australia's ecosystem remained relatively isolated from the rest of the world due to being an island continent. As a result, the state of its ecology turned out very differently than the rest of the world. In the absence of placental mammals, marsupials rose to the top as local megafauna, with wombats the size of rhinos, giant shore-faced kangaroos, and marsupial predators that could easily be mistaken for cats and dogs. However, mammals were not the only giants roaming Ice Age Australia. Birds and reptiles also reach tremendous shapes and sizes, like the giant Geniornis, who shares a distant relation with chickens, and the terrestrial crocodile Quincana, a giant crocodile that lived on land that was able to run down prey. And at the top of this elaborate, exotic food chain, Megalania sat, and possibly with a secret weapon, Venom. It is possible that like the Komodo dragon in Goanna, Megalania could have been venomous, using its venom to bring down massive beasts with the least amount of effort, likely in a similar manner to Komodo dragons, using its venomous bite to inflict a mortal wound on its prey before waiting for it to die a slow, agonizing death caused by the lizard's hemotoxin, a form of venom that disrupts the blood clotting, causing the animal to die a long, excruciating death of blood loss. If Megalania shared this trait with its other venomous relatives, this would have made Megalania the largest venomous animal to have ever been discovered. However, 
Despite these amazing traits, nothing lasts forever, and as much as some refuse to believe, this included megalania. The epoch of the last ice age meant the end of many massive megafauna, megalania included. It is unknown why these megafauna went extinct, although it was likely due to a combination of human migration and climate change. That said, some believe that megalania is still out there roaming the Australian outback. These are false hopes, however. Due to the lack of necessary prey items and the environmental conditions required to sustain such an animal. And even if there were Megalania still roaming the Australian outback, they wouldn't be the same as they were 40,000 years ago, with evolution still being at play and they would change according to new environmental conditions. But that's only if they survived the last ice age at all, which unfortunately, they did not. Alive or extinct, Megalania remains one of the most impressive predators ever to stride this planet, and one of the greatest examples in the evolutionary success story of reptiles.